Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do mid-November readings for all the Zodiac signs. Um, this month I'm going to do something a little bit different, I'm going to do these um, readings by elements. Um, so fire signs would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that will be one video. And then earth signs would be Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, they'll be in a video uh, under earth. And then water, of course, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And then air being uh, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So, um, I don't know, just trying something different here. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock. And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the box below. Um, you can come join me and my peeps on Wednesday, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, uh, where I do a look in on all the Zodiac signs as well as the random reading live. So, come be a part of it. 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So, this reading is going to be for the Earth signs. It's going to be Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. And I'm going to start off with Taurus. So I'm going to draw four cards for each sign. What are the messages for the Zodiac sign of Taurus? Mid-November 2020. What does Taurus need to know? November 2020. Mid-November 2020. For Taurus. Sun sign, moon sign, rising sign, Deacon Ascendant, and Venus. What is going on with Taurus? Hmm. This one wanted to come out. It's the King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I'm going to put it back in because it didn't come out all the way. It didn't come out face forward or up. So, this could be somebody who's very analytical, you know, about the facts, figures, and numbers. They might come off a little bit cold. They usually have some sort of um, stature, like doctors, lawyers, CEOs, very entrepreneurial, but very direct and precise and to the point. You know, Taurus, it might even be your energy that maybe you're going to be precise, direct, and to the point. No emotions. So, we'll see. Two of Pentacles wanted to come out. Again, that was face down. So, Taurus, mid-November. 2020, what does Taurus need to know? Hmm, it came out again, so I'm taking it. The King of Swords. Now, King, Queen doesn't matter, it's an energy. You know, somebody just might be all about the numbers. You know, not being emotional might, might come off a little bit cold. It could be Taurus that you cut communication off with this person. You get the Eight of Rods in reverse. In the upright, this would be reciprocated communication. Going back and forth, email, texting, Skyping, face to face, however. But no one's shooting any communication back and forth. Hmm. Now, my bulls, this could be you cutting communication off with an air like person, or they could be doing this to you. It could be friendship, partnership, love, career, family, however it applies. Hmm. Ah, it could be because a secret came out. Get the High Priestess now in reverse. She's the keeper of secrets. You never underestimate her because she knows a lot more than what you think she does. Now, in the reverse, something could have been gossip. But the High Priestess is really not a gossiper. You know, if she doesn't say anything, you know, she's got good reason to. And it could be that maybe finally, you know, my bulls, either you came out and said something that maybe you're staying silent about. And this person got communication off with you. Or, you know, this person could have revealed something that they held back. And now communication is rendered. Hmm. Now what came face down, which I'm not going to take, is a tower in reverse. So somebody's trying to avoid a disaster here. Hmm, Let's see if that comes back out. Maybe somebody didn't like what they were hearing. What somebody was saying. But they finally said something. Ah. <laughs> now we get the Kwong card. The Ten of Pentacles. This is like having it all, right? Money to pay your bills, money to have fun with. Harmonious family life. Wow. Interesting bottom of the deck. Yep, game changer. Get the Scorpio card of death. 
Now, death is the transformation of a situation. Because something needed to change. Something was long overdue, I feel. So by somebody saying something that needed to be said, my bulls, whether it's you, what's another person, you know, this could be, you know, telling somebody, stay out of my business. Or, you know, however it goes, you know, worry about yourself. And this person just took it, you know, the wrong way. But it's about your happiness, my bulls. Because this is, you know, pentacles, this is your, your element here. That you said something that needed to be said. Whether somebody was getting, you know, too involved in your business, your, you know, relationships, partnerships, even at work. And now this person doesn't speak to you. It had to be done. You know, I feel something that was long overdue. It's <laughs> and now that this has changed, where well, this person is not communicating with you anymore. It's like a wish, my bulls. You know, maybe somebody does, you know, respect your boundary lines. You know, or just has more respect for you in general, maybe before they didn't. Maybe they took you for uh, granted. But, bulls, it had to be said. You know, if your happiness is on the line here, if you have to stop talking to somebody, you know, with them or involving them or however, or them you, it was done, you know, because of somebody's happiness. And now they put that more important, you know, than just yapping or gossiping maybe. I really do feel like my bulls, somebody was just getting too much in your biz. And you had to say it. And because you said it, it's a game changer. So, wow. Okay, Taurus. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad if you did it because it was your piece that was getting interrupted. It was your, you know, happiness or it was just your, you know, contentment. And I feel that maybe it was overdue. Whoa. It's good luck. Now we'll go on to Capricorn. Let's see what is going on with Capricorn, mid-November 2020. What does Capricorn need to know? Oh, you get some dirty laundry coming out. You get the moon in reverse. Now we all know the moon likes to hide things. Lies, secrets, deception. You know, it could be about deep consciousness, heightened intuition, fear. But in the reverse, the moon doesn't want to hide it anymore. Something is becoming unveiled. Capture whether this is, you know, your energy that you're about to, you know, expose something or them, you. Friendship, partnership, love, ship, career, however. Capricorn, mid-November. What's going on with Capricorn? This could be a deep-rooted issue, you know, that's been very under the surface. And now it's coming to the surface. Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn, mid-November? 2020. Capricorn. Now remember, this could be, you know, friendship, partnership, love, your career, you know, family, however it applies. Oh. Somebody might not have had a choice here. You get the seven of cups in reverse. Now, in the upright, a lot of times it can mean confusion because the cups come in on a great cloud. You can't see them clearly. You know, so you don't see your options and your choices. In the reverse, confusion's leaving. And now it's narrowing down your options. So something gets revealed here, Caps. And you're seeing something clearly. Where well, you didn't see something before. And it could be, you know, narrowing down your options because you see them clearly now. Which ones are the right ones, which ones aren't. The veil has been lifted, Caps. Oh, that one came flying out. Oh, and I think you know this. Because you get the four of pentacles here, and this is, you know, someone staying silent. Somebody not expressing themselves. Not verbalizing. 
it's funny because when I put the card down, he's looking straight at, narrowing down the options because something was revealed. Something be became known. Caps, maybe he knew something was coming. You know, maybe you knew. Hmm. It could be about a fire-like person. You have the Queen of Wands on its side. Now, in the upright, she's a go-getter, a mover, a shaker. She's motivated, passionate, creative. Go get it done. And in the reverse, this could be maybe ego, pride, maybe a little bit of arrogance. Saying you're going to do something, put something in motion, but you never do. I mean, this person. But on its side, it's almost like being revved up and no place to go. You know, it's like somebody might be chomping at the bit. Maybe caps for you to say something as you're narrowing down your options. Hmm. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, there you are, caps, in your element. King of Pentacles, not King Queen, like I said, doesn't matter, it's an energy. Being grounded, practical, methodical, you know, a realist. And seeing something for how it really is, Caps, how it really is. No illusions here. Hmm. Now, this could also be somebody who, you know, supports your endeavors. You know, a great friend. You know, a partner could be. So put it where it applies here, Caps. It's like almost like your silence as something gets revealed to you. Get somebody kind of ramped up and ready to go. They're ready to move with you. If you let them move. This could be keeping somebody at bay, too. So, Caps, if you're staying silent because you want to see, you know, narrow down your options, the good ones, weed out the bad ones. And something gets revealed to help that process along. You'll do it. You'll find out what's the best solution for you. And I really do feel this could be somebody in the wings of it waiting to see what your decision is. I believe they're on your side. It's like, <laughs> it's like they're so ramped up to do something. It's just like, just say it, just say it, just say it, just say it. You're like, wait on, just wait. I want to be sure. I mean, because you don't speak about it because you're processing it really confuses somebody else that they don't know, you know, stop, go. <laughs> oh, it could be because somebody needs to come out of heartbreak. And as always a process, as things get revealed to you, as you discover them, Caps, you'll know what to do. Options and choices, narrowing down, and doing the best thing for you. And you might have to keep this one at the starting line. <laughs> but he'll make it to the finish line. Again, king, queen, don't matter, it's energy. <laughs> wow, Caps, so that's what I have for you there. Good luck with that. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go on to Virgo. Let's see what's going on with the Virgies. Mid-November 2020. What is... Whoa. That one just took off right out of my hand. And it's upright. Okay, Virgo. Keep an eye on this deck. I've got the Nine of Swords in reverse. I like this card in reverse. In the upright, this would be sleepless nights, agony, thinking about something over and over again, getting no resolution. You know... Could, could, uh, could cause anxiety. Get that out. But this is like letting something go. Not letting something take all that mind space here, Virgis. Now this could be your energy putting out there or the energy that's coming towards you. But not to dwell on something. Come on, Virgo. Mid-November 2020. Hmm. Lots of things being revealed with the art signs. My priestess. In reverse. Someone is saying something. They're not staying silent anymore. They're not keeping something to themselves. Virgo, this could very well could be you or the person you're dealing with. They're not going to worry about something. They're just going to come out and say it. I feel. 
And it's a positive thing, Virgo. It's a positive thing. You get the Sun card. You could be dealing with the Leo. But instead of worrying about it and internalizing about it, you release it. Whether that's, you know, resolution, solution. Get your mind space back. Again, just like Capricorn, maybe you're dealing with a gap. Narrowing down those options. Seeing something clearly. And this is totally a different deck, too. Yeah. But it's all good. Virgo, it's all good. It's always good to see what's in front of you instead of seeing maybe, you know, a mirage or an illusion or something. Something gets rectified. Something gets justified. It gets made fair. Could be dealing with Libra. But if it's not something in the, the court system, this very well could be karmic justice. So Virgo, don't internalize about something. If you have something to say, say it. Because it's not only fair for you, but it's fair for the other party too. And once something's released, you don't have to think about it anymore. You know, it's taken care of. It makes things clearer, Virgis. You know, so, all right, so say you thought you had seven options and reality of it is you have three. You have three good ones. And that's just an example. Internalizing something causes this. And nobody wants that. So, you get to come out and say it, Virgs, whether it's your energy or the person that you're dealing with. It's a good thing. It's a positive thing. Because now you know what's real, what's not real. What your true options are. And the situation gets rectified, it gets justified. In Virgo, it gets made fair. Wow. So good luck with that, Virgs. And thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. Don't forget about Wednesdays, where I go live. Come join me in my great peeps. So, till then, folks. Take care.